want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. Hello everybody, welcome back to Polish Top Words. My name is Marzena and today we will learn top 10 must-know vocabulary for the restaurant. So our first word is kelner, waiter, and it's a masculine noun. So for example, um, if a waiter is very rude, you can say ten kelner jest bardzo niegrzeczny. Ten kelner jest bardzo niegrzeczny. This waiter is very rude. And our next word is kelnerka, waitress. So, kelner is the masculine form, while kelnerka is the feminine. For example, you can say, Ile zarabia kelnerka? Ile zarabia kelnerka? How much money does a waitress make? So, in general, the service in Poland is not that bad, uh, but um, sometimes you may be unhappy with something and if that's the case, it's okay not to tip because the waiter or the waitress, they usually earn enough to cover um, their salary. But a rule in Poland would be to tip more or less uh, 20, 15, 20%. Uh, but it's obviously up to you. So if you are more than happy with the service, you can go for 20%. If you are not so happy, you can go for 10 or or just leave. Nobody will be angry at you. Our next word is almost the same as the English one, and it's menu. Menu. And with so many different restaurants, maybe um, there is some food you don't eat, something you don't like, and there is like vegetarian menu, and there is a vegan menu, and there is, of course, all the other types like pescatarian menu. So, uh, for example, when you walk in the restaurant and you are not so much into, fi into fish or meat, you can just ask, Czy mają państwo menu wegetariańskie? Do you have a vegetarian menu? And surprisingly, even though Polish cuisine is so heavy on meat, we do have plenty, and I mean plenty, vegetarian restaurants all over spread all over the Poland but especially in Warsaw. Warsaw is being known as European capital of vegetarian food and vegan food. And of course one of the very important words when you are in the restaurant is zamówienie, order. Zamówienie, order. So zamówienie comes from a, a verb zamawiać which means to order. So in English is the same Basically, almost the same word, it's just noun and a verb, order and to order. In Polish, it's zamówienie as the noun and zamawiać as the verb. So, um, the waiter can come to your table and ask, Czy mogę przyjąć zamówienie? May I take your order? Another very important word, uh, not only for restaurant, but in general, is woda, water. Woda means just water, and I know that in some countries you can get water for free in a restaurant, but in Poland it's, you pay for it always. Be careful when you order it, just check on the menu what the price is, because it can be actually pretty high, almost the same as juice or, or even beer sometimes. And we do have both sparkling and non-sparkling water, it's very popular, both are. Uh, so for example, if you, if you are the kind of person who doesn't like sparkling water, you would like to ask for non-sparkling one. You would say, Poproszę wodę niegazowaną. I would like to have non-sparkling water. And of course, when you finish the meal, the most important thing is... Deser. Deser. Deser, you probably feel like you've heard it somewhere because it sounds so much like the English word. Deser is dessert. Dessert, deser. So when the waiter or the waiters will be taking your order, they will probably ask at the end, Czy życzy sobie pani coś na deser? Would you like something for the dessert? So we've got a lot of different desserts in Poland, and one of the most famous one would be charlotka, which is an apple pie 
served with with ice cream and with wiped cream. Um, another very good one, but available, I think, only for Christmas, is the popsit cake, which is the best for me. I like my my favorite dessert ever. And of course, there is a lot of other pies. There is a wonderful cheesecake, very different from what we what you will see in all the other countries. Uh, so please be sure to try it out. Chef Kuchni. Chef. So if you uh, go with your friends to this very nice restaurant and you know that the chef here is very, very famous, you can say in Polish, Chef Kuchni w tej restauracji jest bardzo znany. The chef in this restaurant is very famous. Fast food. Fast food. Which is just fast food. Um, I guess the accent is more like Polish. And then another thing is that you know that in Polish we change nouns, we change the endings. So even though it's a, an English word, we would still change it. So it's like fast food, uh, fast food, fast food. So even though it's an English word, we'll still change it. Like fast food sometimes would just become fast food. And we do have a Polish type of fast food as well, which is pretty old. Uh, this Polish type, it's actually Polish hot dog. And we still call this hot dog, but there is no, <laughs> and there is no sausage or, or anything or any meat inside. Uh, it's just mushrooms. And it comes from the time, long, long time ago, uh, when we literally didn't have uh, meat. It was very difficult to get meat. Even though people had money for that, they just couldn't buy it. So that's the invention of that time. And I still remember it. Oh my gosh, when I was little, I just love to go with my mom and buy those hot dogs. And we called them hot dogs, but they were like hot dogs with mushrooms. And that's it, just mushrooms, like just the bun with mushrooms. Um, you cannot uh, see them so often anymore. You can still probably when you just look around, uh, but it's not that common anymore. Uh, if you are like me um, and you don't really like fast food, you will say, nie lubię fast foodów. I don't like fast food. Restauracja, restaurant. And you can already hear it sounds very much like the uh, English word, restaurant, because it's restaurant. Restauracja, restauracja. And... Uh, I guess you know that a lot of restaurants are being judged by having Michelin star or not having it. Uh, I don't think there is a lot of restaurants in Poland with Michelin star, but the one that do have it, it will be extremely, and I mean like extremely expensive. Nevertheless, if you find one, you can always say Ta restauracja ma gwiazdkę Michelin. This restaurant has a Michelin star. Rachunek, Bill. Rachunek comes from a very old Polish word, which we probably don't use anymore. Um, a verb, rachować. Rachować means just to count. And right now we would just say liczyć, not rachować. But this word, this its form, it's still there in the word rachunek. Rachunek. And it's also very important to just look at your bill before you go back home because sometimes people may make mistakes on purpose or not on purpose, but just it happens. Uh, and if something is wrong, you can always say, Przepraszam, ale ten rachunek się nie zgadza. I'm sorry, but this bill is not correct. Thank you for watching. This was top 10 must know vocabulary for the restaurant. Be sure to like this video. And please tell us in comments what kind of Polish food do you like. And if you want more content like this, please go to polishprod101.com. See you!